we as educators should embrace it, teach it, and teach the boundaries that need to go along with it. I think it's gonna give them um, an outlet for a voice, creativity. Um, I work a lot with students who have physical limitations, so it, it allows them to embrace the music and the art and culture of things that they don't necessarily get to experience if you're wheelchair bound, wheelchair bound or have other limitations. I really, there's, I think it's limitless. I think AI is going to open the world for them in a way where they still don't have to leave their home, but they get to have more experiences. We have limitations. We don't recommend anyone use AI without adult supervision who is under the age of 14. Um, not that children aren't doing that on their own, but in the educational environment, we're trying to put some limitations um, on what, what we use it for and expose students to. So I think that teachers have to learn the boundaries. Um, often I find that students teach teachers, but what I need to do is teach the teachers the boundaries so that they don't misuse or take misguidance from a student who's just excited. We are really using AI to lighten the load for teachers. Um, behavior plans come to mind. There's lots of talk about that, but it does help expedite that process. Um, but it takes some of the work off of the um, staff who have to spend time creating those. Children with autism in particular need things to be concrete. So AI allows them to use language to generate pictures. I just recently used it with a young lady to write thank you cards. She's graduating and aging out. Um, but she had a traumatic brain injury and her speech was affected, so it allowed her to write personal cards to all of her teachers. So my advice is to teach the tool. People can choose to use it or not, but if you're not educated in what the tool is and the variations, there's so many different kinds. Um, that that I think that's my best advice. You know, set up a policy or procedures of where it fits um, and then teach it.